my YouTube channel. It is your girl Sierra here. And today I'm gonna be putting together some fall looks for you guys. Initially when I did this video, I was like, I'm gonna do five looks. But then your girl just was, you know how you put on a top and you like, oh, I can wear these boots with these top. I can wear a jeans with this top. I can wear a skirt with this top. So you will see that I do use like the same top or the same cardigan with certain looks, but nonetheless, it's a whole different look, you know? You gotta switch it up. It's so crazy. Every time I do styling videos, I'm just like, damn, I kinda wear the same clothes in every damn video. But I want to do that and I wanna show people and my subscribers that you don't necessarily need to keep buying stuff, just work with what you have in your closet. So yes, your girl will always work with what she has. So some of these pieces you, you guys have seen a lot on my channel, but that's just my whole shtick, you know? I, I buy things to have them forever. Y'all know, y'all know. And before we get into this video, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sierra. If you like fashion content, if you like vlogs, if you like... Okay. Come through. Click the subscribe button. Oh, God! I apologize in advance that the intro is in this, like, really, like... Dun, dun, dun type of a lighting. But the rest of the video will be in voiceover and also will be during the daytime. You guys are gonna catch me in my ugly butt. Be sure to let me know what you guys' favorite looks are from this video down below in the comments. You guys know I love interacting with you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, well, I guess I should save that part for the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, so for this first look, I wanted to keep it very simple, but very chic. Y'all know me. And I just put on this Tom Brown cardigan, which you guys have seen time and time again. But I love this cardigan. It's actually 100% cashmere, which is why I'm able to wear it on its own without it, like, itching me up. And then for accessories, I'm just wearing my Little Hoops by Sophie Blue Eye and Maria Black Necklace. And then for pants, I got these pants at Urban Outfitters like last year, maybe two years ago now. Um, took the red stitch out of the back pocket so you can't see the red stitch because y'all know I'm playing Jane. But anyway, I love this look. I would wear this going out to brunch, going for a walk. Perfect fall look. Just took off my pants, literally, and just put on this little skirt just for a more elevated or night out type of a look. Um, I love the texture with this look. The skirt is actually 100% wool. My tabbies are leather. My sweater is wool. And that is another way that you can just look elevated by just wearing really nice fabrics against each other. Oh, and I kept the same accessories as the last look. So with this look here, I got this shirt, leather shirt, it's faux leather actually, by Cedric Charlier. Got it last year through the job that I was working at the time. And I love this piece. I feel like I'll have this piece in my wardrobe forever. I sometimes forget that it's like vegan leather and not real leather because as you guys can see, the quality ugh, of the, the faux leatherness that they use is just immaculate. And then I wanted to go for this like cool Balenciaga-esque look. So I put on my blue jeans that I got from Uniqlo. And I absolutely love the Uniqlo jeans with this look. I feel like it makes it look more effortless, so to speak. And then the shoes I'm wearing are my Acme Studios duck boots. Also got these to the jobs that I was working at the time. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I would definitely wear this on a night out. And then for this look, I just literally changed my jeans. I put on these light wash flared jeans by Totem, which I would highly recommend. They fit amazing. They are true to size. They look so, so good with square toed boots, as you guys can see. And I love the length on them too. I feel like the length is just a very flattering length to wear with sneakers, boots. And as you can see, they fit the waist. And also I wanted to leave the leather button up open so you guys can see that it also could be paired as a jacket. And I don't think this shirt is available anymore, but 
I was trying to have something like down similar. Getting into this next look, honey. Now, I have worn this blue button-up shirt before on my channel. It's, I thrifted it and I actually distressed it by hand. So all those little distressed around the cuffs and collar was done by me. For fall, I just put a turtleneck underneath, this black turtleneck that I got from All Saints for, of course, layering because your girl gets cold and kept on the same bottoms as the last look. And with this look, I wore with boots, but you can definitely pair it with like a sneaker just to dress it down even more. Oh, again, the proportions. I love an oversized moment. Next look is gonna be this blazer that I actually just thrifted. If you haven't seen my thrift haul, go check that out. It'll be linked down below or I may pop it up here on the screen somewhere. But yes, I thrifted this blazer last week in the men's section, have been obsessed with it ever since. Every day I feel like I'm finding a new look. <laughs> and then I took off my little hoops. Oh no, I took off the big hoops and I put on these small ones because I wanted it to just be a more simple, minimal look. And I feel like the hoops store too much, the bigger ones anyway. And then for jeans, I'm wearing my jeans from Simon Miller, tabbies on the feet. And I love this, the length of these jeans with my tabbies. Also, this look reminds me of Jerry Lorenzo's recent collection, because he does like a light wash jean with like a blazer and a circle neck, so vibes. Last but not least, my favorite look of them all. I think I was in inspired by that movie, um, Suspiria. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but I think it's like a French or Italian movie and everyone is just wearing very amazing fabrics and very flowy fabrics and very taut waist pants. And yeah, I'm going for those vibes. And then since this look is super minimal, I chose to put on um, back on my chunky hoops just to give it a little bit of something you know and then these pants I don't know if y'all remember I got these from Toto Kayo and they were a little bit big on me got them taken in the waist and as you can see honey snatched I'm sorry my friend keeps texting me all right y'all so that actually sums up this video these are like six or seven fall winter look that you guys can be inspired by or play off of with your wardrobe i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button share 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 love peace harmony <laughs>